James and Bob are here now. And in fact, in many of the scenes, James, Bob plays himself. Because the thing about Bob, he's unique. In fact, he is very unique. Um, I've, I've never known another cat like him. I mean, I've had cats when I was a kid and stuff like that. And uh, when he started following me around, it's just, wow, you know, this, this, there's just something in his eyes, which it, I think it shines through in the film as well. You can actually see when, when it's Bob on the screen, you can see, it, you know, that glimmer in his eye. Of what I mean, it, it's extraordinary. So in the film, other cats were trained to take part, but some of them were scared of the dark. Some of them wouldn't, didn't want to do the things that Bob is very familiar and comfortable doing, including hanging out in Covent Garden, very busy place. Well, they were, they were great for all the stunt works, like jumping onto a bus or running down a road, you know, or things like that. But when it came to just being calm and still, which is that quality that actors really need to have sometimes, you know, Bob was perfect in Covent Garden because it was his domain, you know? So that's kind of, those cats were there. Bob was never supposed to star as himself. And then it just, um, uh, I got a call and uh, they said we need the real Bob after having done a few shots um, and seen how great he was. They decided to have us come in and be on film for the whole thing. This all began I mean, from a book originally, right? Mm -hmm. So, a streetcar named Bob. You wrote it was an old street cat. I'm sorry. <laughs> the street sorry, car, Bob. The streetcar was named Desire. Sorry, Bob. I realise you're not actually a car. Uh, a street <laughs> cat named Bob. Uh, written with a, actually an old uh, a friend of mine, Gary Jenkins. It became a huge bestseller. Now it's a movie, but if you go back a little bit before this, there you are, you're homeless, you've got various problems in your life. Dependent on methadone. Along comes Bob, who's got his own problems, you know, he's, he's not in great shape. You're kind of like two wounded people brought together. It's, yes, it was very much a case of all of a sudden I, I was taking care of someone other than myself, so in order to make sure I could take care of him, I had to make sure I was taking care of myself first and foremost. So, yeah, he basically became my baby and... Uh, you know, I, I love him to bits and, I, I, you know, I'm very protective of him, obviously, and he's very protective of me. I mean, if somebody gets uh, gets on the wrong side of me, we're very much on the same wavelength. He, he'll switch as well. Now you're both superstars. Has anybody come knocking saying, Bob's mine? Uh, nobody has, funnily enough, and I don't think anybody would dare to tell you the truth because, you know, he's taking care of me, I've taken care of him, and uh, it'd be like a custody battle if somebody tried to say that, but, mm. you know, at the end of the day, I've thought I'm the one who's forked out everything to take care of him, so... Do you think, in a way, weird way, Bob has saved your life, or...? Oh, absolutely, 100%, you know, I mean, not just because of all the books and all of that, but before that, he, he gave me that drive and ambition to, you know, better myself and I was going out busking and I was happier every day with, you know because I had my little man with me you know it was and we weren't just invisible like one or the other a cat or a person on the street you just yeah okay sort of go past but when we were together it was completely <laughs> different. Bob hasn't moved literally. Bob give me a high five. If only high everyone five. shared this five. sofa was that compliant I it would be it. my working life would be so much easier. It is it's a fantastic story uh, Bob is an incredible cat. You're, you're a wonderful couple, yeah. James. <laughs> and um, the, the movie is very moving. And, of course, I cried at the end. You cry everything. I do cry uh, But, Bob, great to meet you and great to meet you. And what a story, yeah, really. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you, thank you uh, and best of luck with everything. I presume more books, more movies. Yeah. I yeah. want a slice of the Bob action. <laughs> Street cats named Bob. Out oh, how old is Bob? Uh, he's about 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Amazing. Nice to meet you, Bob.